It's like the 90s cold, and they want their models back. Thank you for tuning in, and welcome to this very special review. For the first time ever on this channel, we are reviewing something that is not out yet, and I'm really hyped, as you might, <laughs> as you might be able to tell, um, because Dunkeldorf Miniatures are a brand new line from the people behind uh, King Games, Nikki and Nana, uh, and they are going back in time. Basically, they are making miniatures. Uh, captures the feel of Old Hammer, of Mordheim, of, well, yeah, the good old days. And uh, I am, as some of you know, a huge fan of Mordheim, even though I mostly play Frostgrave these days. Um, the, the feel and the atmosphere of Mordheim is right up my alley. You can see the webpage here, I'll uh, pop a link in the description below. Uh, yeah, it's... The Dunkeldorf minis are coming uh, to Kickstarter in March, and we say about. You can see some of the amazing artwork um, that I feel really captures the old Hammer uh, atmosphere. Also, um, they have some pictures of the miniatures and some scale comparisons. We'll do our own scale comparisons in uh, in a short moment. Uh, some pictures of the painted minis, and at their, if we go social, at their Instagram, there are also a ton of pictures, artwork and pictures of the minis, work in progress, uh, and all in all, I just think they are so characterful, they are not the minis you would put rank and file on the tabletop, but for uh, Mordheim and Frostgrave, and especially for RPGs, these are amazing. Nikki and Nana, who uh, are the people behind this, are playing, I know, uh, from their webpage, a lot of Warhammer Fantasy roleplay, and you can tell uh, when looking at the Dunkeldorf, uh, Dunkeldorf, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, uh, designs, that they're making models that we mostly see in the artwork. <coughs> I mean, usually uh, in role-playing books, you can find all these pictures of the civilians, but it's really rare to get the models for them. And I think that's really, really nice. Um, but enough uh, about that. Let's go out into the hobby shed and uh, have a look at uh, what's coming to Kickstarter. So, as I said, Nikki and Nana were kind enough to send me uh, some sample models from the new line. And... Let's see what's in the box. Ooh, a bunch of promo stuff. Nice. This will decorate my hobby shed. I'm, I can tell you that. Sweet. And a box within the box. Bases. Funny, I kind of expected square bases, but <laughs> I will put them on round bases anyway. And here we have three minis. Let's go have a closer look at those. So here they are. Um, and first impression, it's just like opening a blister of minis from back in the day. They, uh, they have a decent detail level, perhaps a bit above uh, what you would expect from uh, Classic Oldheimer miniatures, but the, the general style and atmosphere fits right in. Let's try to put them next to some old unpainted Mordheim minis. I'd say that is a rather perfect fit. They could be uh, from the same age, as far as I'm concerned. Well, let's see with uh, this Games Workshop scribe. Skyball Miniatures Bart and Enigma Miniatures Matt King 
really nice. So yeah, I can't wait to get the to get these painted. Uh, I'm really uh, really looking forward to working on them, and I'm really looking forward to the Kickstarter as well. And I hope all you guys will uh, will go join the fun because uh, from what I've seen, the stretch goals will bring in a ton of cool minis. Uh, so the more, the merrier. Uh, that's for sure. A huge thanks to uh, Nikki and Nana for sending me these models. It's the first time I've had free models uh, on account of me being a YouTuber. So uh, that's a bucket list thing crossed off right there. Um, but I have to say I was uh, I was interested in the Dungledorf project even before that. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know what you think below this video. Uh, are you hyped? Are you gonna join the Kickstarter? Or is this thing not really you? Then uh, I'd like to know about that too. Anyway, uh, to get a sneak peek of what's coming, let's have a look at the promo stuff I got. So, <clears throat> let's take a look at the, some of the promo stuff. A couple of logo stickers, the Dunkled of Shield, and the artwork. Here we have a bunch of guys and uh, yeah these artwork cards are definitely a tale uh, of what's to come so uh, I'm really excited. We have this guy, I love him. The rat catcher and his cat. I guess he will come with a cat once uh, he's released properly. Some dude with a bag of stuff. I don't know if he's a dentist or uh, <laughs> what he is. We have a female blacksmith. I think she's really cool. A noble lady. A noble man. A god captain of sorts. Will uh, probably once I get my hands on the entire Kickstarter be uh, the captain of my uh, city guards previewed in, uh, in one of my newer videos. We have a beggar. Uh, halfling or dwarf or some such guy. A more adventuring sort. She has a weapon and uh, I don't know who she is, but she looks really cool. A trumpet or... Yeah. A woodworker. A dwarven butcher. This one I haven't seen before. Oh, that's a really nice design too. An old hag, a witch, and another god captain -y looking guy. A couple of smaller logo stickers, and a bunch of these flyers. I'll be sure to put them to, uh, to the right people. So that's all for now. You can be sure there will be more Dungledorf content on this channel. So remember to uh, like and subscribe and uh, check back soon for more Frostgrave content. We will get back into uh, Kill Team and the Games Workshop stuff, Warhammer 40k and all that uh, as the spring progresses. Uh, until next time, take care and bye bye!